Hello. In this video, we will cover how to import content from your previous loop course page into your new loop course page. We will also look at the new module codes and what they mean so that we can accurately identify our courses using the new naming convention. Teachers in Loop are presented with an empty loop course page for each of your module offerings for the upcoming academic year. In terms of student access, your incoming class of students will only have access to the new course and last year's students will continue to have access to last year's course, and this is why we can't reuse last year's course for this year. To bring content from your previous course page into your new course page, you will need to manually import that content in Loop. However, it's a straightforward process that only requires a few clicks. The module pages for the new academic year have been auto-created from the curriculum information inputted into DCU's new student information system called Banner. Teachers in Loop get access to their module pages by being listed as an instructor in Banner. You'll notice that, moving forward, your courses have adopted a slightly different naming convention than in previous years. This is due to our transition to the new Banner system. For this example, I'll walk you through importing content from a course called Foundations 1. First, let's take a brief look at the new Loop naming convention. Here we see the full course code from the previous system, alongside the new course code we will be using for the upcoming academic year. For this example module, Foundations 1, our loop page title is 2024-09 underscore TEU1001 underscore 65432. The module title has three components, the term, the module code, and the unique five-digit course reference number, or CRN. I can see from the code that this module is Autumn 2024 since it indicates 202409 for September 2024. Your Spring 2025 course, when created on Loop, will thus begin with 202501. Next, the module code here is TEU1001. The module code number will not be the same as the previous years. In this case, it was TE101. It now follows the new university-wide convention for module codes. Lastly, the course reference number will be unique each semester. Therefore, if you have multiple offerings of a module in the same academic year, the CRN will be used to differentiate them. So now that we understand the components of the new module codes, we'll know how to identify our modules correctly in the new academic year. Going back to our Loop dashboard, we'll now find our new course for the upcoming academic year. By default, the filters should be set to all. You'll notice you can now also filter by in progress, future, and past. If you still can't find your course, use the search field in the course overview block to locate it. If it does not appear in your course overview block, use the site-wide loop course search to see if it has been auto-created. If it appears on the search results, it means it is available on loop, but perhaps you are not enrolled as a teacher. In order to get yourself enrolled, you will need to be listed as an instructor in the new student information system, Banner. And if you are the module coordinator, you'll need to be listed as a primary instructor. You should contact the relevant person in your faculty or school office to help you with this. If you have any other issues regarding module page access, visit dcu.ie forward slash ISS and log a ticket with the ISS help desk. If you do have access, go to your new empty loop course page for the upcoming year. Remember to make sure the academic term code is correct in the title, in this case, autumn 2024. From the course top menu, choose more and then course reuse. If you cannot see course reuse, scroll down a bit or use your browser zoom feature to zoom out a bit. You should see course reuse at the bottom of the list of options. From the drop down menu on the left, choose import. A list of courses then appears. In this list, you'll then see the courses that you are enrolled in as a teacher. So it's not a list of every course on loop. You should only see those that you have access to. Select last year's course from the list. If it is not there, use the search field to locate it. In locating your previous courses, you'll be using the older loop naming convention. So put in the academic year and the module code as your search term. Then select the radio button to choose it. Choose continue. The default import settings on this screen should suit your needs, but do deselect anything that you do not need to bring across. Then choose next. You are now presented with a list of activities and resources from last year's course. It's a good idea to scan through the list and deselect any of the activities and resources you no longer need. Some resources may be out of date, or some files may no longer be relevant. You can use this as an opportunity for a quick cleanup of your content. And this means your students for the upcoming year will have a fresh, lean loop course to access. Make sure to also deselect the items at the top of the list because these will already have been added during the creation of the new empty course. 
You might also want to delete your assignments and quizzes and other continuous assessment items. And you can take this opportunity to design new ones, which is good for supporting students' academic integrity and helps avoid confusion for yourself not having old assignments mixed in with new ones. Now choose Next. And you need to confirm and review the content you wish to import. If you've left something out, you can go back and select it by using the Previous button. Now choose Perform Import when you're ready. Depending on how much content you've chosen to import, it may take a few minutes for the import to complete. During this time, do not select anything on the page or navigate away from loop. After sufficient time has elapsed, you will receive a success message telling you that the import is complete, so choose Continue to return to your course. Now scan through your course page to make sure the activities and resources are in the right sections. You may need to, for instance, move some of them around or retitle them depending on the import, and you can make any changes like that by toggling Edit Mode on. There are a few other configurations you should make after importing your content and activities. The block drawer on the right-hand side contains a number of important static blocks for students to interact with. By default, this block drawer should be visible to you when you visit the course page. To collapse it, choose the X button. To expand it, click the left-facing chevron button. You should configure the contact block by putting in your name, your office hours, and your contact details, as well as your picture. With editing turned on, choose to configure the contacts block. Type your details directly into the text field. When updating your profile photo, you can either link to your photo on the DCU website if you have one, or you can directly upload the photo. Just make sure the photo file is not too large, otherwise it will not display properly. And then choose the Image button on the toolbar. If linking to your DCU website photo, you can go to your profile page, right-click on the photo, and then copy the image address. Then, back in the Loop Image window, you can paste the address into the URL field. Also, be sure to update the alt text to describe the image. If you prefer to upload a photo from your computer, you can choose Browse Repositories, Upload a File. And then choose the image file from where it is saved on your computer. Before uploading, resize it to make sure it's about 150 pixels wide. Whichever method you choose, be sure to choose Save Image to save your profile photo to the contact block. When the contact block is updated, choose Save Changes to return to the loop page. You might also want to edit the template module handbook here with your own module's details. With editing turn on, open the handbook. Use the cog icon in the table of contents block to edit a particular chapter in the handbook. For example, you might want to enter your learning outcomes or your reading list. The default text in each of these chapters are instructions for you as the teacher so be sure to check each chapter and edit appropriately so students don't see that default instructional text. After making changes to a chapter, choose Save Changes. Then use the breadcrumb trail to return to the main course page. You might also want to set up any continuous assessment items at the start of the semester, such as loop assignments or quizzes. You don't necessarily need to have your quiz questions ready to go, but even just setting up the activities and configuring the due date will be a big help for students. These due dates will appear in their loop calendars and their timelines, so it will help them in planning the semester ahead. Configuring these dates will also populate the multi-lag timeline report, which allows teachers across the program to see upcoming deadlines for all modules associated with the program. This is useful for both you and your colleagues to map assessment load and scheduling for all of your students. You can add assignments and quizzes by choosing Add an Activity or Resource and selecting the one you wish. The default loop module page template has been designed according to Universal Design for Learning principles. You can find more information about this on the TEU website, dcu.ie forward slash TEU, under the Learning Design menu. Full information on how to use loop to support teaching and learning is available on the loop staff support page, which is accessible from the loop top menu under support. On the loop support page, you can find help with all of loop's features. You can also see more info here on other great loop tools like the Planner and the Accessibility Plus Toolkit, which is an excellent resource for identifying ways to easily make your course page and materials more accessible for your students. And if you have any questions about loop features, please feel free to join one of our regular loop drop-in clinics on Zoom, details of which can be found on the TEU events calendar, or you can log a ticket at dcu.ie forward slash ISS.